Hello YouTube, it's been a while, etc, etc, you know, the drill. Um, today I am going to be reviewing five items from three different places. Um, as I said, it's been a while, everyone says that, you know, but we all mean well. So, uh, the three places are Wish, uh, a place I've recently found called Tiger, and a online and an online company called Click. Now I'm going to start with Wish. Uh, everyone's heard of it from what I've from what I can see. Uh, very popular website. I get everything from Japan, I believe. Uh, but don't quote me on that. Let me get this right. There you go. Um, comes from actually no, sorry, it comes from China. Uh, it basically is discounted stuff. That comes from obviously like a production line, etc. And you pay next to nothing. And I will be the first to admit that a lot of it isn't as great as you think. Um, it's got mixed reviews on certain items, uh, two of which, sorry, three of which I have just spotted the other one. Um, these three actually turned out okay, quite well. But I have had a couple of items from it before and they have not been spectacular. So, the first one is actually these. Now, if you don't know what they are, these are called bear claws. These are primarily for um, when you're doing like big things of meat, for instance. Uh, I tend to use it when I'm using my slow cooker because I do sort of big batch cooking. Now, I didn't realise on the advert, it doesn't... This is my fault, actually. I didn't read that these actually come individually. I paid about two quid for that. And it is just you know, a bit of plastic. But it's got well it's got seven uh, nice um claws, I suppose, yeah. And it doesn't look it, I mean you can see it up close. It's probably about oh I don't know six inches maybe in width. I mean I can get my hand in with pretty good grip. I've got a second one downstairs, I don't see the point in trying both, because they're both identical. Um, I didn't expect this to be as good as it is, because usually, whenever I do anything in my slow cook, and I have to shred it, I usually have to do it either by hand, which takes a long time, because you have to obviously wait for it to come down, <coughs> or using forks, and the problem with that is that because the gap in between is quite thin, uh, it tends to get clogged, so you can't really do very much with it. But this has got a nice gap where I, mean, I can put my finger, in fact, I can put all my fingers in between. And I literally tried these on last Saturday when they um, came through. So I've had a bit of sniffles today. And this just annihilated everything to really, really well. Uh, nice size, very easy to clean, very easy to handle. It was literally just da, 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 da. quite happy with that. So, yeah, that's that one. The second one, and I actually bought this, it's another cooking gadget, I actually bought this as a, um, well, as a little, accident, by accident if I'm honest, I occasionally put things in my um, wish basket to actually go and buy, buy them, and then before I do, I then go through them again, and I think, right, do we really, really want that? Like, for instance, at the moment, I've got a couple of Transformers figures in there. And I've just been looking at the reviews of them, and they're not as great as I expected. So that's that. But I left this, which is an infrared thermometer, and it will go down to as far as minus 50 degrees C or my. No, sorry. Uh, go as low as minus 50 degrees C and up to 380 degrees C, which is minus 58 Fahrenheit to plus 716 Fahrenheit. Now, uh, it's basically got three little settings. It is pretty much just looks like one of their speed camera guns, it's just a lot smaller. So, did you just... Yeah. So, two AAA batteries, did you just plug them in, and then it's got... Just quickly sign it off. So that's it really quick. If, so you use it on the thickest part of your body, at which point it would be my hand. So apparently my temperature is 37 degrees. Uh, it's got 
uh, three little functions. So I keep this going. Right, so in here you've got uh, here's it. turn it on dimmer or not. This one changes it to from Celsius to no sorry. That one turns off the beam of light. So it's still running. But as you can see, there's nothing in my hand. It's still picking up the temperature. And now I switch back on so you can do it then. And then this one changes it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So currently, if I do it on my hand again, so it's saying my hand is 36.7 or 98 degrees Fahrenheit exactly. Uh, again, this is a little cooking gadget. This is actually something I, like I said, I bought by accident. This was about three, four quid, including the postage. So again, relatively cheap. As probably these two are the cheapest pieces I've bought. Um, and that one is actually very, I like the fact it's actually got, if you look on top, the little, where is it? The little scope marks. As if you were going to be sitting there like a trained sniper going like this. Um, so, so you got the up here. I'm not going to set it off. Top one is the actual infrared laser, and this I'm assuming is the actual thermostat itself. Uh, it gives you a little the blurb on the side if you're interested. It won't. You know, it's not going to focus, but the general gist of it is it tells you how far to um, keep the distance and what to do. The third one, bear with. Right, the third one, this was actually a little present that I bought for my wife a couple, about a year ago. Um, just a little trinket, I suppose. And it's two parts, it's two keyrings basically, but one is a key and one is a heart. And if you look, let's move some stuff out of the way. If you look carefully, on here it's actually got, you know, it's actually got that written on it. And then the key, as you can gather, fits in. Now the idea being I'm assuming is that one has you both have a half each and then you know you go and make sweet puppy love afterwards. I can't remember how when I bought it what happened but I know she liked it so that's a good thing. <clears throat> now the second thing is actually from a website called Click. I found out about this by um, Instagram actually and because it's one of those pop-up adverts so I ordered two I actually ordered one for my wife's birthday present just gone and because the order was going to be delayed they said I could have one so I was like might as well uh, they're about 15 quid each um, I think it's an Italian company I'll put the link in the description below um, but what you get is this uh, for those of you who are old enough to remember the old version, um, before everything went digital, you had to buy um, the old camera rolls that you can usually get in like the pound shop in those little boxes. Um, it comes in a little metal tin like this. I'm like I said, I'm going to put the description in, in the uh, box below. But it's kind of similar, I'm trying to think what the name of the website is, but um, it's one of those personalised ones. So in my my case, every band is automatically like this, and I th it's about, you know, well let's put it this way, I can put this on, on its tightest, because it's got, as you can see, the three, like, three little poppers. I can actually get it on the tightest one, which is here, um, and my So I can get that on its tightest one, and it doesn't. It's not too tight for me. I mean, lengthwise, I don't know off the top of my head. So, but it is just a standard length, and you get one, two, three, four, five, seven small pictures. Now, on my one, the pictures are primarily of my cat and my family. And uh, the only difference that you have, well, actually, two differences. One, you can have all the pictures in black and white or in colour or mixed. And the second one is this little green tag. You get a choice of three colours. And I believe it's uh, pink, green and silver. I think. 
the last one. The other two I know for a fact. Um, it's actually quite nice quality because you know, usually you buy those bracelets and they feel really, really cheap. And you know, you pay like you pay what you get for basically. Um, the reason I bought this, oh, boom, is what I'm thinking of. Um, because they do that card that explodes and it turns into a cube and it's got like um, the pigeon on top. Uh, same principle. Um, the one thing I will say is that it does take a little while to get the pictures how you like it because you literally get one chance to do so and then obviously you can check it out and before you actually buy it however you can't edit it on the last page before payment it is literally case of you've got to get it accurate the first time um, like I said it comes in this little tin and I think the whole lot came to about £31 so it's about fourteen pound fifty, I believe, for no, it's not fourteen fifty. It's twenty nine. Yeah, so it's about fourteen pound fifty for the actual bracelet we made up, and then you know, the rest of it was on postage. Um, it comes with usual uh, flyers and gaff, etc. So nothing new there. And the third place is actually from. It was actually called Flying Tiger. Um, long story short, um, I was at Lakeside a week ago so this will be the 14th and I found this place called Flying Tiger and I believe it's actually um, a chain but the first part of the title is actually different so there's a place in Brighton called Tiger Tiger so I'm wondering if it's the same sort of connection to it the general gist of it is it come it's um like Ikea but for stationery that sort of stuff and I bought, actually I've got my calculation wrong, there's actually another one from Wish, there's only one from Tiger Tiger, which I is this. This is my new stand, which I'm going to show you, because currently my, um, my current one is one from the pound shop, and it's dying to death. Let's put it this way, when I put it in, the spring came out. It's just kind of being held together at the moment. Um, so this is... Ooh, this is a little Bluetooth um, stand, so uh, it will work with iOS or any of the Apple software, so it works with both. Um, it folds down quite neatly, I mean it's little hand, you know, little, what do you call it, grip, I suppose. Um, long story short, this will go to a maximum of 61 centimeters. So that's what about two of the tiny bit feet. Um, all you do is just unwind it a little bit, pull it up, and then obviously you clamp it. This bit is on a on a hinge, which on my current one, this does obviously these are universal, but on my one because it's from the pound shop, that bit has just snapped. So that's why it's come out. And then you pull this out. It's on a telescopic uh, pole. And then to make this, you can hold it as it is and just have it as you know, a, you, a normal stick, and then you can just take a picture. Or, and I didn't realize this until I got home, because um, I do have one of these selfie sticks. It's just the fact that this one has another bonus, which my other one does not. And that is, if you pull this up, and I've only done this once, by the way, it actually has the legs for it. And there is a way, and then what you have to do is you have to twist, uh, sorry, you have to twist it and then this bit locks in and I've forgotten how to do so. Oh no I haven't. So this little piece here twists around as you can, if I can get, ah, uh, there you go. So that twists and then that locks that in and then if I'm right. There you go. So that just twists and locks it in and then stops it from falling over. And from its full height, you can see that. Um, yeah, so that is a good little stand. I mean, I'll show you the one I've currently got attached, which is this. And this does get bigger, but only by literally like the tiniest amount. 
I mean, comparing it to that, it's yeah, pretty much nothing. But like I said, the um, the spring on this is a bit knackered at the moment. So every time I try and put it so I can actually record something, it's just getting caught. So that is the stand. That's like I said, that's my new one. And then the third item, and then obviously to put it all back, you just clamp it, clamp it down, and then just shrink everything back into its portion, and then just flip it around. That just clips on. And like I said, this is a little Bluetooth thing which I've already paired to my phone. And I just I just leave it in the box, and then that way I, I don't lose it. So that's that. And then the final piece, um, I've actually got this wrong, like I said, this is uh, the fourth item from which he had click being one, the stand being one, and then the accidental pendant thing is actually this. Now, this is from Wish as well. Um, one of my very first videos, in fact, my actual very first video, was about me explaining about my, um, my hearing. And I have a condition called nerve deafness. And this is a, a condition I've had since birth. So if you're interested in finding out about that, um, look in my my uh, my videos list, and it'll be right down the very bottom. Now, one thing I am very much a stickler with is keeping my ears clean, and the reason for this is because obviously, like I said, I've got nothing on this side, twice as much, two hundred percent in here. Um, whilst having nerve deafness, I also have a condition called supersonic hearing and the long story short of that is when I was being built as I call it or manufactured my body compensated by chucking everything that would have been in there into here so sometimes I can hear I mean when I kind of accepted that when I was about 12 no, 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 no. I would have been about 10 at the time when I finally had it diagnosed um, I was able to hear like electrical current in the phone because we used to have a downstairs phone when I lived at home and you could, we would sit next to it and you would, I could hear the electrical current getting ready to run along to the ringer in the phone and then pick it up before it actually rang so someone would dial and then I would pick up and they wouldn't even get a ringtone that's how good it was but years and loud music have kind of naffed that up we're only human anyway so I'm a bit of a stickler for keeping my ears clean, and I found this, by accident in fact, on Wish again. This is a USB adapter for an ear endoscope, I suppose, is that what it's called? Yeah, there you go. That's the picture that comes with it. Now it tells you to download an app, a specific app, which, now, I obviously can't look at it whilst I'm running this at the same time. So I will connect another video to this afterwards and hopefully that will work because I haven't actually tested this yet. It's only arrived today. So this is all brand new to me. I downloaded the app earlier. Um, it's, uh, this is basically what it says. This is a HD visual ear canal cleaning tool that is that includes a mini camera whose diameter is 5.5 millimeters and a few interchangeable accessories with this little bag of stuff um, with this is I don't know if this is disgusting or not an ear pick adhesive ear pick ear pick with cotton stick ear muffs and then obviously it says images can be displayed and saved on your phone or computer now this has got an interchangeable head so I have an Android so this is the type I use that is to turn it to USB mode and then down here because it was getting in my way this I believe is for an iPhone I don't know what type that doesn't look like a lightning connector if I'm correct me if I'm wrong that might be for the six five maybe six I'm not sure I'll show you up close anyway um what I'm oh I'll give you the rest of the uh, stuff. It's protective. It's got a protective sleeve. Um, it's roll. It actually gives you the roll. Actually, I'll just pump it on this. So if you're interested in it, that's the details. 
So it asks you to download a program called InScan, which looks like that. Picture of an ear, basically. Uh, I did try it earlier with a couple of programs, like just random ones, and it does work. It once it's um, connected to your phone, it automatic. You can set it up so it automatically picks it up, which I did. Um, it seems to work so far, so. I'm going to try and record something so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now, one thing I do need to point out, oh, one before I do, it's got this on here, which I, it does record video, and I thought that was a volume control. It actually turns out that's actually in here. If I can get it to focus, which probably won't, there's six tiny little lights, like LEDs, that run around on the inside. And those are actually the brightness. So that does that. Um, so let's see what this looks like. One thing I have just add, had to add before I show you the inside of the um, of this is that there is no sound. I thought there was, uh, but as it turns out, it's not. It does actually capture the motion of everything, um, but there is no sound at all in it, which in a way I suppose is a good thing. Uh, but like I said, I only got this today and I've only quickly tried it. So the next scene you're going to see is actually me showing you what the fibers on this one, this one, and that one are. And then because they're the only things I had close near to me at the time, and obviously the fibers in my carpet, just so you can see what the difference looks like, and then inside my head. Now that little black thing that you see is actually the, your eardrum. So do me a favour, if you're going to be all freaked out and go, oh god, that's really horrible. We've all got stuff wrong with our with us. We're not perfect. And let's be honest, there are a couple of people who I've seen do reviews of these, and they've done a lot more disgusting things, and they are on YouTube. If you just type it in, you will find it, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, here we go. So that is the items, basically. I know that most people didn't want to see what the inside of my head looked like, but, you know, I was curious. Um, what else is that? I think that's pretty much it now. Um, I would recommend using Wish if you're after some bits. My only piece of advice would be to do a bit of research. So find a list of things and then put them into a basket or something and then look on YouTube for reviews of it and see what people think because you can get easily swayed by things um, although like I said don't sort of think oh it's cheap rubbish it really isn't you know, there are some really good stuff on there but to be fair it doesn't matter where you shop it just depends on how long you're prepared to wait for instance whenever I bought anything from Wish I've had a couple of different times where Things have turned up really, really quickly, and then a majority of the time it takes a good what, month before they turn up. But don't knock them, they are pretty good. And the only duff thing I've ever had was I got a, I, um, ordered a jumper for it, and the difference in sizes I actually didn't realize at the time. So what I ended up having to do was send it back and get an extra, extra large because that's a large over here. Because apparently the Japanese people are a lot better in weight and everything compared to us Europeans and some Americans people. But that's just a lifestyle thing, I think. Uh, tiger Tiger or Flying Tiger, however you like to call it, I would recommend looking them up and just have a look around and click. So once again... Uh, that's everything I can think of that would be worth in looking talking about. I mean, I bought for a joke off Wish um, two extendable forks. I gave one to one of my work colleagues because he's always hungry, 
and we thought it was a joke and I bought one because I've wanted one that's about it really so with that I'm going to sign off because it's quarter to ten and I'm bloody knackered and I will see you guys next time I don't know what I'm going to review I'll come back with it at some point okay bye <laughs>